So in the last video, we have seen the procedure to make the wall as well as the base cabin for the kitchen. So in this video, let us see how to make an overhead cabin for the kitchen. So before we make an overhead cabin, it is better that you create a layer in which you, you can keep the overhead cabin. So I'll create a new layer and I'll call it as uh, over cabin because that is where I'm planning to keep the overhead cabin. And I would like to give a slight variation for the overhead cabin color. I'll let it be this color just for the sake of identification. And uh, I'll just uh, make that as a current layer. Now I I'll start making a profile for the overhead cabin first. So I'll start making a polyline from here. Now I would like to offset this polyline inside through a distance of 45 units because you know that, that is the thickness of the overhead cabin. So I'll give offset and 45 as a offset distance. Okay. Now you can just close this, these two endpoints using polylines. Now I'll go to pre-edit and I'll select the last drone object. Then I'll go to join option and I'll give all. It has joined all the profiles as a single unit. Now it can be readily extruded. So I'll go to extrude command and I'll give a height of extrusion of minus 60. Now it is extruded through a height of minus 60. In the negative is the DAX direction. Okay. So you have made uh, the basic object for the overhead cabin. Now we have to make a light box over here. So that light box can be drawn by creating a profile over here. So I'll again make a polyline over here. Okay, then I'll give offset and I'll give an offset distance of five units inside. Then I'll erase the outer profile. Then I'll give a change property thickness of minus 10 for this. So that represents the light box. It is similar to uh, the creation of the skirting. Now uh, let us detail all this cabinets we have made. So first of all, uh, let me detail the base cabins. So if you want to detail the base cabin, uh, you have to make profiles for the base cabin. So what I'll do is I'll make uh, the layer in which the base cabinets are made as the current layer. So I'll keep base cabin as a current layer. Now I'll align the UCS on this face. So just go to UCS three point option and I'll keep my origin here X in this direction, X in this direction and uh, Y in the vertical direction. So UCS is aligned there. You can just freeze the layer in which I've kept the wall uh, because that might uh, hinder or obstruct with your uh, uh, profile creation. So you better uh, freeze the layer. You know that wall is in fact created in the zero layer. So you better freeze the zero layer. Okay, so we have only the cabinets displayed. Now I will divide this into equal number of parts. So let me just find out this distance first. So I'll go to dist command and uh, I'll get a distance from this endpoint to this endpoint. And you can see that distance is 246. So I would like to divide that into uh, five equal parts. So I'll go to 246 uh, divided by five. Uh, this you know that command prompt of AutoCAD can be used as a calculator. Uh, so I'll start with the left parenthesis followed by a forward slash, then the two numbers which are to be divided. So you will get it as 49.2. So th that is perfectly fine. So which is uh, the width of a single cabinet. So you can have five cabinets over here. Uh, so I'll draw a polyline starting from this endpoint to this endpoint. And I'll divide this into five equal parts. I'll just orbit it slightly to see these uh, points clearly. Okay, for division. Uh, so I'll draw a polyline from this endpoint to this endpoint, and I'll divide that into five equal parts. So I'll go give divide command, and I'll select the profile to be divided, and I'll give the number of segments as five. Uh, now you can't see the points here because they are dots, so you have to obviously change the representation of the point by giving a command DDP type. So I'll change the representation to this representation. Now you can make out the points here. Now I'll draw a polyline starting from this node because node is the option which is used in object snapping to capture a point so i'll start from here and we can draw a perpendicular so you have made a line that is a division or a partition for a single cabinet now you can just uh, trace a polyline 
over here that represents a single cabinet now I'll give an offset inside uh, through a distance you can give as a 10 units or you can give it a 7 units uh, inside okay now you give another offset over here or else it is better that you can extrude this so I'll give extrude command and uh, I'll give height of extrusion as say 1.5 units and I'm actually planning to give, give a bevel for this so since I'm planning to give a bevel I should go to taper angle first so I'll give a taper angle and the uh, taper you can you have two options you can either pick from here or you can give a uh, taper angle mm, and I give a taper angle of say 60 degrees and uh, a 60 degree taper is given and it will ask you for the height let the height be 1.5 units so we have actually made a bevel uh, for a single cabinet plus you have the, got the partition here this same pattern recurs throughout so you can just give a copy command and you can select this and uh, this is the base point and uh, this is the second point and you can keep on uh, selecting the second points five times so that you will be able to complete the cabinet profiles you have made the cabinets now you can just get rid of all these points as well as the line which you have drawn for division by giving erase command you can just go for window option you can select all this the lines and polylines uh, within a window and in fact this cabinet got selected so you can just go to remove option you can remove this and just give an enter to get rid of all those unwanted objects so this is how you make the uh, profile mm, as well as the beveling effect for the base cabin